Now for the top story tonight. Dr. Mark Lamont Hill teaches at Columbia University here in New York City and has appeared on The Factor a number of times. You may have seen him. He's an ardent liberal guy. And that's fine. All points of view are to be heard on this program. But yesterday on CNN, Dr. Hill said something very controversial about mass killer Christopher Dorner. And as far as Dorner himself goes, he's been like a real life superhero to many people. Now, don't get me wrong. What he did was awful. Killing innocent it's people is bad. But when you read his manifesto, when you read the message that he left, he wasn't entirely crazy. He had a plan and a mission here. And many people aren't rooting for him to kill innocent people. They're rooting for somebody who was wronged to, to, to get a kind of revenge against the system. It's almost like watching Django Unchained in real life. It's kind of exciting. Now, put yourself in the shoes of family members who are suffering grievously right at this moment because of Derner's murders. How do you think they are reacting to that kind of analysis? Joining us now from Lower Manhattan is Dr. Hill. So be fair to you, because I've known you a long time. I'm going to give you a chance to explain this. Go. Well, the first thing is you just mentioned the family members of, uh, of the victims. Uh, and, and quite frankly, uh, my heart goes out to them. And if my words in any way cause them any pain or, or trauma or stress more than, than they already are experiencing, then I, I offer them my deepest condolences and my apologies. I have no problem saying that. What I was saying on CNN, though, was not that I support uh, Dorner, not that he was a superhero to me. I was asked to explain why he was getting so much online support. And what I was saying is to many people, they're not seeing him as a mass killer. The media narrative isn't that he's just a mass killer. The media narrative is that he was someone who was wronged by a corrupt department, and now he's exacting his revenge, which was the Django uh, comparison. I'm not condoning what he did, but there, we, Americans are capable of having two thoughts at the same time. We can walk and chew gum at the same time. We can critique him and say, look, Dorner was wrong for what he did, but there might be a real story here about corruption, about violence, about targeting individual people. People that we can also talk about at the same time. And I think that's what this crisis has All produced right. for us. Let me tell you why you're wrong. In any kind of a historical context, when there is a heinous crime committed, you cannot take anything away from the crime by trying to explain why certain misguided people are supporting the killer. That would be like saying, you know, there are some Russians uh, who supported Stalin because they were victims of the czar who took their land away. You can't do it. I understand well, what you were trying to do. You were trying to explain this mindset on the internet and the call in radio programs that people who hate the police and think the LA police is racist are trying to explain what put Dorner over the edge. I got it. Yeah. But what you didn't do, and, 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 and number one, I don't even think that engagement is, is worthy this close to the crimes. So you, get, you let things die down a little bit before you get into that. Condemnation of Dorner and the people supporting him, absolutely. But you didn't do that. You condemned Dorner, but not the people who were supporting him, which I, I condemn the boat. So that's why you put yourself in a position to be chastised. Do you understand my point of view? I do understand your point of view, and, and I, I wish in retrospect that I had explained further I don't think, though, that the fundamental argument that I was making was wrong, even if the message itself gets lost. Because if we're having this conversation, then we're not having the conversation that I actually want to you have. You can't have a conversation on speculation. The well, system no, it's, said, it's not speculation, the, yes, it, is. it absolutely is speculation because the system ruled a judge and an investigative capacity for, uh, for the Los Angeles Police Department that Dorner did something wrong and he was fired. Now, the, the LAPD has reopened the investigation. Fine. Well, they Nobody's have to. in a problem. But right now, no, they don't. They don't have to do anything. He, that case was I'm closed. saying in the face of media scrutiny, Bill, they absolutely if have to. If the media to. wants to scrutinize, I don't have a problem with that. But you come up with the facts first. Yeah, well, you there don't are facts speculate here, about I, 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 things I, 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 that I, you don't have any facts on. Here's, here's a hard fact about the Los Angeles PD. Every year they get thousands of complaints of brutality and corruption. Every t they, police department gets that. No, Everyone. I know. And, and, and in every major police department, those claims get investigated by their internal affairs bureau. In other words, the police investigate the police and decide whether or not the police were wrong or right. And in that context, you don't get justice. The, 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 there's no outside force. Can, that's what, and that's no, your, and, and that's your, if you that, want to do a point. macro analysis of, how, of why police should be investigated by an outside you know, agency that has nothing to do with police, 
I, I don't have a beef with that. But, but, that, you but that's don't, what this crisis allows for, though. No. That's what this crisis allows no, for. No, no, and it, no, it, no, be, no. it would be irresponsible of us to simply talk about Dorner as the crazy madman and not also, also, I'm saying this also, people out there, also talk about police corruption. You also can talk only about- do that when you have evidence that police corruption is in play and there is no evidence in this case. And the second mistake that you make, and being a professor, this, this comes right into your academic background, is that you give credibility to a killer, to a I'm guy not- who's obviously not thinking clearly. He killed four human beings, innocent human beings. You don't and- give any credibility to him. Anything he says and everything he says is suspect because of what he did. Do you understand that? And that's why it's important to disentangle those two things. I'm not saying investigate the LAPD because Christopher Dorner initiates a conversation about the LAPD or police more broadly. There's already a a, a decade or, excuse me, century-long critique of the LAPD that we need to have, and he puts a spotlight back on it. I'm not legitimizing killing. That conversation comes later, then. No, no. It doesn't come. You don't get to make that decision, Bill. It doesn't come. You don't get to decide. There are people who are suffering. No, I get to decide here, doctor. I get to decide. You get to decide when we talk about about, Look, when we talk about police brutality, don't get Bill. yourself in even more trouble here. Bill, you're less not than right 24 about this. hours, less than 24 hours after a police officer is murdered by this thug, you're out there with hypothesis. You've got to give it a little time. Bill, it's not a hypothesis to say that police corruption exists. I'm not saying that Christopher Dorner... Not Dorner's, in this case, no, it let me doesn't. finish the thought, Bill. I'm not you saying can't that, link I, it. I'm not saying that Christopher Dorner's manifesto is true or false. That's not my, that's not my claim. I, don't, I haven't You're investigated that. You're insensitive, doctor. Well, I, 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 you are insensitive we to have the to be victims... Sens- families. And like That's I said, what you were. And like I said, if I if I was insensitive to the families, I offered them my condolences, but I'm still committed the to if investigating out of there, police doctor. terror. Take the if out of there and you got it. And we appreciate you coming on the program. I, and I I don't want uh, Hill to suffer here because Hill has been a stand-up guy over the years, but I absolutely think you're wrong and insensitive. And that's my opinion. We 